Nothing like a fire and a noble romantic mission to warm the cockles of your heart. Yeah. I like my cockles room temperature, thank you very much. Hey, if you're not doing this for cockle warming, why are you doing it? <laughs> Simple. Fartwad gets his princess, I get what I want. Which is? Now come on, what do you want? I don't have time to set it to music. Oh, this is another one of those onion things. No, this is one of those drop it and leave me alone things. Well, why don't you want to talk about it? Why do you want to talk about it? Why are you answering the question with a question? Why are you asking questions I don't want to answer? Why are you blocking? I'm not blocking. Then why do you have problems expressing your wants? I don't. I want you to shut up. See? No problem. You're just displacing your anger. Believe me, it's properly placed. You're really mad at whoever did this to you. No one did anything to me. Yes, yes, yes. Someone hurt you so bad. Someone hurt you many years ago. Leave my parents out of this. Breakthrough. Let's go with that. Let's explore family origin. Were you hugged as a child, Shrek? All right, all right. I want a home. And someone to share it with. Okay? Yes, Shrek. It's okay. And Farquaad said he'd give me my own swamp in exchange for the princess. You really think you can trust that Weasley oil rag, don't you? Hmm. Yeah, right. But now I'm going to have what he wants. <laughs> Boy, has he underestimated you. Yeah, he can join the club. People see me and they go, Ah! Help! A big, stupid, stinky, smelly, ugly ogre! I'm so scared! They judge me before they even know me. My folks always told me that everyone loves ogres. I see. So, I guess they were a little overprotective. A little? That's why I gotta do this. I want them to know I can take care of myself. And you want to make them proud. Yeah. You know what? When we met, I didn't think he was just a big, stupid, ugly ogre. Mm -hmm. I know. Night, Shrek. Night, doggy. <laughs>